obviously at the moment in the UK there aren't any COVID rules and restrictions, um, but as with everything, um, things can change. So I recommend that you ch check the government, um, the gov.uk website, which will have the latest travel guidance for coming to the UK, and it will tell you of any restrictions or anything that you need to do from whatever country that you come from. So make sure that you check that before you travel and um, I would check it up to 48 hours again before you travel in case something's changed your agency or um or your or your contact uh, NHS professionals will alert you if we are aware of anything that's changed but sometimes things change and they change in a really quick um time frame as they did during the pandemic so at the moment there's nothing that you need to to do or prove to come to the UK for that but these things do change the other thing I would recommend that you do is have a look at the BBC News um, or or kind of the news in the UK, um, just so that you're aware of perhaps what's going on wider in the UK at the time that you arrive, because as you get to know people in the hospital, they might be talking about things related to that, or even mm -hmm. kind of at the moment in the UK, we're having some strikes on some of our public services as well. So, you know, so just so that you're aware of the environment and what you're coming into and perhaps what people's kind of, you know, concerns are from your colleagues' point of view. So I would recommend you keep your eye on, on the news um, as well, just so that you're kind of cited on, on the country that you're coming into and what's going on at the moment. So that's kind of, before you arrive and um, obviously when you get to your departure date um, you know so what we normally do is NHS professionals will send you an email 